Hi guys, Mr. Ruffleffles here. Over the weekend, I posted a video about a cipher that had been found on Shadows of Evil. It was found in the junction by Glitching Queen, shout out again to her, and it's pretty interesting. The keyword for the cipher, the key phrase rather, is only the cursed survive. I've dedicated an entire video to this, so if you want to check it out, then feel free to do so. It's linked in the description down below, and there'll be a little card that should pop up right about now that you can click on too. But today I'm going to be talking about another cipher that's been found, also on Shadows of Evil, that is identical to the one we've already spotted in the junction. Now, this to me doesn't make any sense at all. It's seriously very strange because we have a cipher in the junction like I've mentioned with a specific cipher text and a specific key and it's all fine and dandy and that alone I wouldn't really turn my nose up at. But now we have a cipher with the exact same cipher text and the exact same key in a different area of the map. It doesn't make sense. If you guys have any ideas about why this could be the case, drop them in the comments section right now. And while you're scrolling down, like the video, por favor, that would be great. Also, it would be remiss of me to not mention the fact that this was originally tweeted at me by a chap called The Joe Legend. He found this and said, hey, Waffles, uh, this is pretty weird. Do you want to take a look? And I did so. So shout out to you, sir. Thank you very much for pointing this in my direction. Whenever you guys do that, I do my best to credit you in the videos where necessary. And that's what I'm doing right here. So Joe found this. I jumped in game and recorded the snippet of video that you're watching right now. And to be honest, I just don't understand. It seems so strange that Treyarch would spend all this time making these ciphers and planting them in sneaky areas of the map for them to then be the same thing repeated in a different area of the map. That just doesn't make sense to me. Now, there are a couple of theories that we could run through and will run through in the duration of this video that is remaining now that could maybe explain why this is the case. For example, this could be a mistake. Simple as that. It could be an oversight from Treyarch. They may have intended for this cipher to display an entirely different code but just pointed the game towards the wrong texture or something like that, that's entirely possible. But you'd think that something like that wouldn't get past QA. Surely they're going to test the hell out of all their Easter eggs and by association, out of all the cipher placements and things like that that are hidden and dotted around the map. Surely. Jason Blundell has talked and talked and talked about how there are ciphers that we're gonna never be able to crack and Easter eggs we'll never solve. Well, yeah, that's certainly going to be the case if we can't see them in-game because the wrong texture's being displayed. That said, this isn't necessarily a misplaced texture, and it could well be intentional. But thinking about it, it is still fairly strange. So let's just have a chat for a moment about what this could mean if the cipher is literally the exact same thing as it certainly appears to be, as the one that has already been found in the junction. Why might Treyarch decide to give us a cipher and give us a key twice, or potentially more than twice? What if there are multiple ciphers on the map that are also the exact same as that original one found in the junction? What if that is the case? Well, maybe there's a way to interact with these ciphers. In fact, when Joe initially messaged me, I said, Bro, can you interact with it in any way? Is there a way for you to somehow make it change or make it move or make it give you any feedback to let you know that it knows you've found it? Is there anything you can do that changes anything in game related to this cipher? And as of yet, we haven't found anything. I've looked a little bit, he's looked a little bit, a couple of other people that have also spotted this and DM'd me and things like that have also been looking, but so far we've come up short. Which is actually pretty exciting in my opinion. Think about it, if we have a cipher, which we do, on Shadows of Evil, that Treyarch think is so important that it needs to be shown to us twice or more, then Hopefully, the message it reveals is going to be pretty damn interesting. I'd certainly hope so, because 
things like this are going to take a while to get solved. Sure, with the Shadows of Evil brick cipher, it got found, and then I cracked it straight away. But that isn't going to happen for all of the ciphers. Testament to what I'm saying, there are ciphers that have been found on the giant that we still haven't solved, and the game's already been out for a month. Those ciphers have already been discovered and thought about and analysed and cryptanalysed and attempted to be broken, and we still don't know what they say. So you see my point here. This could take a long ass time, and I think that that's quite exciting because it might mean that by DLC 2, We've got a load of story that's built up and we're trying to figure out everything that's going on and there's this one glaring hole in the information we've been presented with and then boom. Suddenly, somebody cracks the Shadows of Evil Junction cipher and we have a whole new area, a whole new avenue of story or just an explanation of a single event or something that turns out to be extremely relevant to what we're doing six months from now. So the story implications of a long unsolved cipher are cool and that's all fine and dandy and all well and good. But what if there's something else going on here? Like I sort of previously mentioned a little, what if there's a way to interact with this cipher such that it will change into a different cipher? Or it will give us some kind of clue towards something else, another Easter egg maybe, in the map. For example, what if we crack the code and it says shoot me twice with a Dracon and then once with a ray gun? That's obviously not going to be what it says, but I'm giving you an example just so that you can think about the concept behind what I am saying. If it said that, we would then know that we needed to shoot it twice with a Dracon and then once with a ray gun. Doing that could activate something on a complete other part of the map or it could set us up for a new easter egg, not a main easter egg mind you, a shorter sort of side quest side quest, or something along those lines. There's no boundaries really to what this could possibly be. Now, obviously some people, because they're party poopers, have dug through literally all the code at this point and are probably sitting there going, Mr. Waffle Waffles, you're wrong. There's nothing left in the code. We've solved all the Easter eggs, Milo. But to those people, I say, bruh, there's still Easter eggs in Call of Duty World at War that we haven't solved. Just think about that for a moment, okay? Call of Duty World at War, which we have picked apart methodically for the last, what, eight years? And there are still unsolved Easter eggs? And you're telling me that just because you've got all the strings, there are none left in shadows? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I disagree. So, the reason for me posting this video is not to say, hey, I've actually cracked it and I was just messing with you guys, but rather, it's basically me saying I don't know what's going on. I really don't know. I don't know if this is a mistake on Treyarch's part. If it is, they'll see this video and fix it, so that'll be fine. That'll be absolutely fine. But... If it isn't a mistake, and chances are it is intentional, what could it mean? I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts on Twitter. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section of other people's videos. I want to see you all over the place talking about this. Because right now, this is a massive mystery, and we're not going to get any closure on it until A, Treyarch updates the game and removes it, or B, people forget about it. And that won't be closure, that'll just be straight up ignorance. I would love to know what the hell is going on here, but right now it just doesn't make sense to me. So, whether you're discussing this on the COD Zombies subreddit, shout out to you guys, hello, nice to see you around here once in a while on my videos, or if you're on CODs or somewhere else entirely, have a think, pull your resources, and let's try and figure this out together, as a community, because I don't know what the hell's going on, like I've said a million times in this video, I'm stumped, and obviously I'm going to keep investigating, and I'm going to try my darndest in my free time, which I have very little of, unfortunately my degree takes up every single moment of my waking life right now, but regardless, in my free time, I'm still going to be trying to crack this cipher, I'm still going to be trying to puzzle out what the hell Treyarch have up their sleeves here, and hopefully you guys are going to as well. I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you're still watching at this point, you are hereby declared a filthy watermelon. 
which is no bad thing. Thanks for watching though. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, and fingers crossed we'll get this solved. Bye bye.